Good day, everyone. I was born and raised in Detroit. Growing up there, I saw people like me running things. This is a courtroom, not a circus, so we're going to calm down. I'm sorry. What I found there was a passion that I didn't know existed. This is the bottom line. I'm excited to free fall into the limitless possibilities with we the people. So many are fearful of the law. They think it's something that works against them. I think you need to begin to accept responsibility for your mistakes. We are the people. Megan Thomas claims the contents of her purse were ruined at the nail salon when an inebriated animated customer sent acetone flying. Jalissa White says it was an accident, but the salon is at fault for leaving the bottle open. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lauren Lake presiding. You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Good morning, Sean. Thank you. Good day, everyone. Good day. This is the case of Thomas versus White. Miss Thomas, you are suing Miss White for six hundred thirty-six dollars for damages to your leather purse. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am, Your Honor. All right. So what happens? How how is it that she causes damage to a purse of yours? Well, ma'am, Miss Lauren, again, Judge Lake. Judge Lake. Okay. That's all right. Miss Lauren is good outside of court, but <laughs> we're in Lake. court, so is Judge Lake. All right? Judge Lake, as I was sitting down from getting my pedicure to get my manicure, the nail tech, Mr. Kevin, he brought me over mimosas because at this particular nail salon, they serve mimosas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. Those are the best here, ones. The best ones. Yes, yeah, I like the ones. Here, especially that. with the little sister juice. Sister here juice. was on her third. <laughs> she was Ms. on White her third. Ms. White said with a little bit of orange juice, mm -hmm. just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's how I like mine, too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you, Yana. Okay. So, but go ahead. So, she's, we're having mimosas. Are you having one, too? Yes, ma'am. I had one. Okay. Sister mm -hmm. here was on her third, because mind you, you know, she was already in the nail salon. That's the first thing she asked them, where's her drink? Yeah. Oh, she okay. walked through yeah. the door. Yeah. She wanted her yeah. drink. You hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She was ready. Yes. So, um, as I sat down, you know, from the, the pedicure chair right. to the nail chair, now, okay. she was stationed in the next station next to so, me. So, the next manicure station. So, yes, now you're at that long yeah. table where the... Uh, technicians are behind in a row, and then you're next to her in a row? Yes, yes. ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So she's all up, and she was explaining something to Miss Kim, the uh, the nail tech that she normally frequents, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden she flailing all around and doing all this and, you know, telling all her business. Okay, and I, I will admit, there goes I the am a little talk expressive. In my purse. I am, I'm I'm speaking, speaking, I am a little expressive. I do have a tendency to talk with my hands, and sometimes, you know, I get excited. Overexcited and then I knock things down. You know? Drama queen. But no. hold on now. Wait, what, what, what story were you telling, Miss White? Well, what, you what? know, I, I'm a loyal customer at Tiny's uh, Nail Salon. Okay, so I'm there. Everybody knows me. Everybody knows my name. It's like that show Cheers. Yeah. Uh -huh. like, Sometimes you want to go. Lisa. We gonna have a good time. Yes, they you want to go drinks. where everybody knows your name. Yes, they serve uh -huh. free drinks. Alcoholic you know? again. And once again, you, you, you know that little bit of orange alcoholic. juice. I'm not alcoholic, thank you. Alcoholic. <laughs> but anyway, that day, everybody wants to know what happened with my car situation because I explained it to them before. So my car, the engine broke down, and I took it to the uh, auto shop. And on the way back, I was driving, and I made a left turn, and the wheel went flying off. And then, you know, and when, when the flu, I didn't realize the, the I didn't realize flew the acetone in my purse. Was when she open. flew, okay, the wait, it was an open acetone bottle. Let's get some more. This story is fascinating. Okay. But I have to listen to each person one at a time to okay. be able to understand it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So right. you're in the story about your car. Right. And you know, I talk with my hands. I get it. So the acetone, it was open, an uh, uh, open acetone bottle spilled inside her, her so purse. So there were, as you're talking, uh -huh. an acetone bottle, yeah. which was being used at one of the stations. Right. You, you, you talked about how the wheel. Yeah, the wheel went flying off, and there I was stuck making my left turn. But your hand flicked. Yeah, my hand went and, and hit it, and it spilled inside her purse, which she was. Next, I don't know whichever one, but you know. Okay, so you admit your hand hit the acetone, it fell mm -hmm. inside her purse. Right. Now, why was the acetone open? Was exactly. somebody soaking that's off the, the nails? Well, that's the I nail tech. That was Ms. So Kim wait, was the acetone? I don't know Hold which one. Hold on now. 
Miss White, was the acetone in a bottle without the top? Or was the acetone like in something like when they put it this sometime in the little bowl when they're trying to make the little... No, this was in a bottle. It was a bottle and it was... Uh, she might have just poured it... I guess getting ready to serve me. She might have just opened it up and poured it into a bowl, but she forgot to put the top on. All right. So it goes in Ms. Thomas's purse. So you're sitting there getting your nails done. Next thing you know, this acetone's in your purse. Coming up. I also had a picture of my grandmother and myself as a kid, as a little girl, that was very sentimental to me, that was totally ruined, Your Honor. And later. I told him that I was not prepared to go off trail. I was only prepared to go on a normal hike. I felt pressured and a lot of anxiety over going off trail with someone who I had known for only a month. We're back with the case of Megan Thomas, who blames Jalissa White for destroying her purse with acetone. What happens next? Well, the nail techs in her that you know, they, they tried to clean it out. They got some towels and napkins and stuff, tried to clean it out or what have mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. I know. And you know, at the time, you know, it wasn't as bad as it is now because you know, it just happened. But um, my passport was ruined, my you know, important it was important, you know, little money order receipts that was ruined. Um, it, I mean, it, it was just, I had a lot of things. Did you bring the purse I also today. had a picture of my grandmother and myself as a kid, as a little girl, that was very sentimental to me, that was totally ruined, Your Honor. All right. Well, I, that, I know that. that's difficult. Um, did you bring the purse in? I did, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I did. I'd like to see that. Yes, ma'am. As you can see, the inside and the bottom part is ruined. My six hundred dollars. That's not six hundred dollars, right yes, there. Yes, ma'am, it no, is. It's not, it's no, no, no. Your Honor, That's I have the receipt. She takes the Your church Honor, on Sunday too. I have the receipt. Oh, okay. Your okay, yes, sir. I have the receipt of said purchase of my purse, ma'am. I'm not even Lella. <laughs> Please, ma'am. You said it ain't even left. Mm -mm. And let me not see the Let me see the receipt for this purse. At the Queen of Diamonds boutique. Hmm. Okay. Purse was six hundred dollars plus tax. Do they still sell this purse? I don't know, Your Honor. I, I honestly don't know. Did I you try to so. look up to see if you could replace the bag? Uh, yes, ma'am, I did, and they didn't have that specific color. When I bought the purse, I bought it for a particular outfit that I had, and they didn't have that specific color. They had right. only different colors. And you had your purse, what, sitting on, on the hook? You know, the, it's a, like at the nail salon, and you I know you frequent as well, Your Honor. They have hooks, like, where yes, you can... Yes, on the side on the side, put your Yes, ma'am, where you can hook your bag up. And it was open because um, in, the, in the midst of me sitting down, I was looking, I went into my purse to uh, get my phone out to show Kevin, the nail tech, the design that I wanted for that specific set. So that's how it ended up being open. You when know, the I just acetone really did, went Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because I went in and got my phone to show him Why the, right, the specific so design Ms. I White, wanted. I want to go back to you. Okay. When you see that you flicked and you're telling your story, the acetone goes in her purse mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and her bag and you all trying to clean it up. Right. What do you say to her? Well, I apologize to her. I said, I'm sorry. You know, Your but Honor, I went and grabbed, not I went an grabbed a, a towel and tried no, to clean it out. No. And I was like, well, hey, you know, accidents happen. Exactly. So, all right. Not an apology, just a, okay, well, whatever. Just so blow So you off. felt hey. like she basically just blew this off? Yes, ma'am, I do. And so did you feel like the acetone, or could you see the damage to her bag, Ms. White, at the time? No, no, because she took it and went with it. I mean, Miss Kim had it in her hands, and she was wiping it down, and Kevin had it, and he was trying to clean out the inside, and then she just took it and snatched it. Whoever left the bottle open, it's not my fault. I mean, it should be the, the, the salon's problem. If you hadn't but, been doing what you was doing, God, that's just me. I'm just Come on, let's, man. let's talk with I my man. So let me tell you something, Miss White. I can't even go back to Ms. the nail White, Ms. White, that's the thing about accidents. They're not on purpose. Mm -hmm. They aren't planned and they aren't intentional. I understand It's that. just something that happens. In the process of servicing clients, an open acetone bottle is a very reasonable possibility at a nail salon. 
It would be different if you said that it was in some odd place, maybe. But it's basically where it should be at the time it should be there for the purpose of servicing clients. Right. It just so happened because you've admitted in open court that you are just a very uh, gregarious, out, you know, you're, you're, you're a very outspoken right. and animated person. Yes. Things like that happen. Right. And when they do happen, mm -hmm. you offer to, to remedy the situation. It is the opinion and the decision of this court that at the time that the damage happened, you should have exchanged numbers because you can't really see how much damage is going to happen until it dries. Right. But she lost significant things, and you can see that the whole bottom of the purse is stained from it, not to mention the inside is damaged. Uh -huh. Now, you can't control whether you knock acetone on a $6 purse, a $60 purse, or a $636 purse. You really think that $630? Well, unfortunately for you, she actually brought a receipt. And the receipt matches the bag, and so this court has to honor the evidence. Now, if you would have brought in a receipt for a bag that didn't cost that much and say, Your Honor, look at this bag for $136. This is her same bag, but you didn't present any of that evidence. Do you have it? No. Therefore, it's the order of this court judgment for the plaintiff for $636. Court is adjourned. Thank you, Your All Honor. All rise. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant owes $636. I told you, justice was served. I can't even go back to my nail shop well, because of you. That's your fault. No, that's you know, your that's fault. fault. Your I fault. I am Jaleesa, honey. Being, I'm going to talk the way I'm going to talk. Jaleesa, honey, no, no, no. I can't no, look no. at this. I'm in the, I'm in the courthouse okay. with my nails not done. Coming up. Why not just say, no, thank you. Well, I'll just do this hike. Well, I'm I having had, a great I time doing this. I told him I had reservations and that I didn't want to do it, but he just kept Egg, egging me on. Network featuring dynamic judges and live legal programming. Well, we're not okay. at your school. We're in my courtroom. Unique court shows. Where is any information about the company? Live legal news. That's what you should have done. And a commitment to justice. Either you tried or you did it. The next generation of court programming in one dynamic network. Justice Central. You're watching Justice Central. Stay tuned. You're watching Justice Central. You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. Lauren Hopper claims her date pressured her to hike off trail. And while she was trying to keep up, she fell on slippery rocks. Chandler Howard says Ms. Hopper didn't object to the activity and told him she was an expert hiker. Good day, everyone. Good day. This is the case of Hopper versus Howard. Ms. Hopper, you are suing Mr. Howard for $3,075.50 for personal injury. Is that correct? That is correct. Tell the court, how were you injured? We went on a hike as a third date, and when he decided that we were going to go off trail to see a special surprise, um, I told him that I was not <sighs> prepared to go off trail. I was only prepared to go on a normal hike. I felt pressured and a lot of anxiety over going off trail with someone who I had known for only a month. There were large rocks at the beginning, and then as we progressed further, the rocks got a lot smaller and uh, more treacherous and slippery, and he was going much farther ahead than I was. I was much farther behind, and I felt nervous that he was going to leave me, so I tried to uh, pick up the pace. So and wait, he convinced you to go on this hike? You were nervous about going, and then he hiked way up ahead of you and wasn't there to, to spot you? Correct. What kind of date was this, Mr. Howard? Uh, it was supposed to be an adventurous hiking date, Your Honor. All right. Um, you couldn't help the lady I, up the side I, 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 of I the I was canyon. staying close. Um, she, uh, Lauren had mentioned earlier that she was an expert hiker. So I thought oh, she was going to Oh, when did she do... mention she was an expert um, hiker? Because she seems like a nervous walker. Coming up. I go into the water, and my foot gets caught between two of the rocks. And it twists one way, and I twist the other way. We're back with the case of Lauren Hopper, who brought Chandler Howard to court over a disastrous third date. Did you express any concern about hiking being the activity of choice for the third date, Ms. Hopper? 
No, um, I actually do like hiking. I have hiked previously in my life. Um, so when he said the name of the trail, I said that sounds great. And as soon as we hung up, I looked up the trail to get familiar with it. It was about a two mile hike round trip. I thought that's fine. I can do that. It said moderately advanced. Um, it wasn't an issue until he said, let's go off trail. Why not just say, no, thank you. Well, I'll just do this hike. Well, I'm I having had, a great I time doing this. I told him I had reservations and that I didn't want to do it, but he just kept Egg egging me on. So we go off trail and there's this um, rock bed that has a little stream running through it and it seems fine at first because there's a lot of large rocks that are easily manageable but the farther along we got on this trail the rocks kind of spaced out and the water got um, higher up so there was more uh, slippery moss covered rocks. Yes. Uh, I jump from one rock to the next and more like a little hop um, and my foot kind of slides over the top of this rock and I brace myself on my arm, but I go into the water and my foot gets caught between two of the rocks and it twists one way and I twist the other way and I yell out in pain and that's when Chandler turned around and saw that I had fallen in. Why weren't you behind her? Why weren't you leading her? Why weren't you holding her hand, her arm, or why weren't you positioned so that if something did happen to her, she didn't have to yell for you? Uh, I thought she was going to be capable enough walking through this spot. I didn't think it was that big of a so deal. So when you asked for her to go off trail, did you sense the hesitation? Was that obvious to you? She was a little hesitant at first, but I thought it was just because she didn't really had been to the spot before. She didn't really know where we were going. Judge Lake's verdict when We the People returns. This is what you call a terrible accident. The question then becomes, is Mr. Howard responsible for the accident? Or did you take the risk on yourself to go hiking in an area that you were unfamiliar with? You took the risk. Now I'll say this, as a woman, you need to be empowered enough to say what you can do how much you can do, and if you're not comfortable doing any more, that's okay. And I feel you, when you like a guy, you just want to hang out and you want to seem like the cool, easy, breezy, beautiful girl, right? That's how it is. So I understand this. I hate that you got injured on the hike. I hope that you've healed and I hope that you will hike again because it's a great way to exercise and find peace, but at the end of the day, you're responsible for your own injuries in this instance. With that said, judgment for the defendant, court is adjourned. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's case is dismissed. I think the judge made a correct, honest you know, answer here. I think uh, it really shows who you are as a person. I was starting to fall in love, but I feel let down, so. I respect the judge's word, and I will take what she said to heart.